I'm decreeing into your life and mine in this month of flourishing. As I call forth into your life, helpers of destiny. Amen. There are different kinds of people. There are people who nurture you. Like Mordecai nurtured Esther. Naomi nurtured Ruth. You will not lack nurturers. Amen. Amen. I say you will not lack nurturers. Amen. Begin to call forth nurturers into your life. I call forth nurturers. Spiritual nurturers. People that will they will enjoy giving me information that will help me. It will give them joy to see me prosper. People that will not be jealous of you. But they want to see you succeed. Spiritual nurturers. I call for nurturers. Call them for your children. Hold them forth into your life, into your ministry. I call for nurturers. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Next, we are going to call for people who labor with you. Oh my God. Do you have a vision? When your vision is big, you can't do it by yourself. Mm -mm. It is only a small vision you can do by yourself. Even the children you are giving birth to, you can't train them by yourself. When you go to work, somebody will be looking after them. The teachers will be training them. There was a man called Tychicus. He labored with Apostle Paul. These are people that they are laboring with you for what God has put in your hand and God will be blessing them. They will not sabotage the vision. They want the vision to succeed. They are working with their heart. Say, Father, Father, I come forth into my life. I call forth into people my that life. will labor with me people that will labor on this assignment you have given me. Call laborers, call them forth in the I name of Jesus. This is what, how, this is how come you can flourish. People that labor with you, not the people that will destroy what you are doing. May you have a call laborer. That will labor with you. Even in your marriage. If you are a man, pray. God, give me a wife. That is a call laborer. In Jesus. Amen. You are still going to call forth people who are solution providers. When you get to crossroads. There was a little girl called a maid, the maid of Neymar. Yes, Lord. Her boss had a terrible sickness, and it only took a maid to give an information. It doesn't have to be a rich person, it doesn't have to be a very significant person, but the person that will provide the solution at a critical time in your life, call them for solution providers solution provider. at critical junctions in life critical call junction them forth into your life I call call you you like the maid of Naaman give me somebody like the maid of Naaman in the name of Jesus Rabo Koshata Mako Rabo Koshata Comfort in the name of Jesus Rabo Koshata Rabo Koshata Rabo Koshata Rabo we call you for the name of Jesus. Man, let them take it. Yes, sir. 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 Some people will talk about you. But those who love you genuinely, they will stand with you. Amen. Yes, Even if you made a mistake, yes, they will say, oh, we want God to restore you. Begin to call forth. I call forth people that will love me genuinely. I call them forth into my life, into the life of my children. We are going to pray about eight kinds of people that you need to pray for. Ah, Lord, give me people that will love me. Not because I'm giving them anything. Not because they are taking anything from me. But 
Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Next we will call forth people who will support you. Not just with their life, with their money, with their substance. In the ministry of Jesus, there was a man called Nicodemus. He was a very rich man. That's why he came by night. He had a high position. And as a matter of fact, when Jesus told him, follow, he couldn't follow because of his position. But you see, if you dig deep into history, you will find out that he now went to put a lot of money into the ministry of Jesus because he couldn't come. His position didn't allow him to come. But he supported the ministry of Jesus. So many people supported the ministry of Jesus with their money. Ah, may God bring into your life people that will support you with their substance. Amen. It doesn't have to be a lot of money. But some people can give you something. Take this book. My son read this book when he was studying for the exam. I see that your own son is in the same class. Let him study. They will give you information that's going to help your family. They can keep quiet and you may never know. Lift up your voice. Father, bring forth strategic people that will support me with substance in the name of Jesus and make me a blessing as well. Strategic people that will enable me to flourish. flourish in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Next, you are going to pray that the Lord will release into your life people that will give you information that will deliver you from danger. Amen. Covenant friends, covenant relationship, like that of David and Jonathan. Even though it was his father that was against him, but he still told him, "Yes, please run at their own expense." They will stand out for you. Amen. Even though they are paying a huge price. That was his father. But he still made sure that the man was not killed. Lift up your voice. Father, release covenant relationships. Father, release covenant relationships. Oh, my God, oh, sir, lead me to covenant relationships. Lead me to covenant relationships. Jesus, mighty name, we pray. Amen. Next, we are going to pray. Father, give me people that will correct me. When Jesus. I'm going wrong, yes, Lord. Not people that will be afraid ah, to talk to me, and they will be watching me make a mistake. Put in my life people it's that will look at me and let me know me that what I'm doing is wrong, and they will have the courage because they don't want to see me destroyed. People that will tell me the truth, lift up your voice. We are talking about different kinds of people that you must pray into your life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Lord. Next, we are going to pray that God should give you discernment against the next set of people we are going to talk about. How many people have we talked about that we should pray into our lives now? How many? What's the first one? People who nurture you, like Mordecai, like Naomi. They nurture you for yourself so that they are not jealous of you. They want you to succeed. The second one, people that labor with you. People that will labor with you. May you have a staff that will labor with you with Amen. your heart. It may be a house girl, but you can see that this girl is working with her heart. She doesn't want to steal your thing. She just stands faithful in her assignment. Next, we said we should pray for people who love you genuinely, right? People that will also support you with whatever they have, with information. People that will tell you the truth so that you do not miss it hallelujah Amen. but next you are going to pray to be designing so you don't miss it there are certain people they are attracted to you because of what god is doing in your life hello Hi. that's why they're attracted to you it's because of what god is doing in your life if something happens your robot people say igida eh? they say if you break the branch the birds will fly off May you not be deceived by such people. Amen. Yeah. You must be able to design people so you don't put important things in the hand of people that don't have the pedigree to handle it. Because that's an error. You must be designing to know that 
that there are some people also who will only be comfortable with you but the minute they see the blessing of God in your life they are not happy are you with me so you must be designing don't fall into that trap you may be wondering what is happening the person is comfortable with you as long as the person wants to become the alpha of your life and it is only God that is alpha and the omega so you must be designing why must you be designing so that you can act with wisdom number three you've got to be designing to know certain people who will always quarrel with you hello Hi. they call them the headsmen of gera check throughout the life of isaac quarrel 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 from essek to sitna to rehoboth why when you recognize them you avoid them so that they don't drag you into bitterness are you with me yes ma. yeah some of you women your eyes must be open that this person wants to drag me why when the chips are down if you go in bitterness in unforgiveness we're going to lose standing with god they're going to drag you to where god has not put you so that's why <laughs> at that point you forgive them so that they don't drag you to hell are you with me say father give me wisdom to discern people the one that is the headsman of Gera. <laughs> if isaac was quarreling with them there was a rehoboth ahead and there was a battle ahead you don't quarrel with the one that wants to drag you to hell lift up your voice as you go ah you will flourish father give me wisdom give me wisdom to design people give me wisdom to stand and not lose my righteousness the righteous shall flourish like a palm tree i will not lose my right standing in the name of jesus i will not be drawn into bitterness i will not be drawn into unforgiveness oh lord give me Grace. Oh, Lord, give, me grace. give me grace give me grace in the name of jesus, name of jesus. i call for people of value into my, into my life in the name of jesus i call for the mordecaias i call for the naomi's i call for the mordecaias the maid of Neman. i call them for into my life in the name of jesus i separate myself from those who will lead me to error lift up your voice Lift up your voice. I will not lose my righteousness. I will not lose my right standing. I will not lose my right standing. I will not lose my right standing. In Jesus' mighty name.